So this is the cemetery of a lot of the people who actually worked on the actual farm. So not only that, probably also Lutherans from around the area. Okay, uh, Lutheran Church is one of Victoria's rare church graveyards. Dry stone walls surrounded by Monterey Pines in Italian Cypress that are over 100 years old. That one looks pretty young. That one's probably uh, an older one. So is that tree. Okay, each burial record do not... Okay, so it's earlier burials. So they could actually be in between there or even over there, but we don't know. If you do an archaeological survey, you can probably find it. Okay, uh, 14 family plots. The graves are randomly placed, although all face east. Okay. Okay, so there's 125 people buried here. So, uh, so here we have some from 1964. German Otto Bert Steiniger. So this is in black German lettering, so, or is it black Gothic lettering, which uh, we don't really use. 2006. Okay, so these are more recent, and these looks like it's made out of the granodiorite. Definitely not granite. It has too much amphibole. Probably some mica. Definitely not enough quartz in the actual rock. I can see plenty of feldspar. Okay, here's another one. So the grave would actually be here. Uh, that's 1903. But the actual headstone's a lot later than 1903. Here we have one from 1880. Looks like it might be marble. And that's Johann Kotlob Stieber. Siba, sorry for mispronouncing the name. Apologising to these guys. And this one also looks like marble. So obviously, this rock is not derived in Victoria because we don't have any marble. Okay, Christian Siba. And see, this is what I mean. There might actually be graves here that are not marked. So if you walk over them. We don't know. See, there might also be some here. So, if you want to respect them, then probably, you know, walk in between there. Okay, 2020. So, this is more recent. Okay, Ward Harker. And there's some with basalt. With the Tombstone. This one has a lot of plants. So these, these are 1891. And that is Johann Friedrich Winter. Okay. And then we have some more tombstones over there. So just remember one day we're going to be in here. Okay, so too sure if there's anything here but based on the fact that there's basalt quite high obviously there's not a grave here unless they put the actual basalt rock on the grave there's no graves here no because this is this is shallow basalt's like one centimeter on the surface so you don't and see this is pathetic Someone's come here and just graffiti the actual tombstone. Lorraine Rail Ward. Even if you, you didn't like that person, you had a grudge against them, why would you do that? But I don't think that's the case. 2017. And there's probably some graves here. Obviously there's no graves here, because look at the basalt, it's at the surface, but there's uh, some graves here. So, uh, this is quite, you know, if 
you're interested in just walking around the cemeteries. So, obviously, basalt rock, no grave, but there could be graves there. Just don't know. So if you're superstitious, probably keep away from places like this. Okay, obviously there's a grave there, if someone's unmarked. And 1926, Frederick E. Evet, Evet, Evet. Okay, and 1972. So, and this is also, yeah, it looks like Grenodiorite. It's not diorite, diorite's a lot darker. And, oh, look at this. So this is 1950, stillborn, 1990. So we have a granite, granite diorite, and we have a granite for a lot of um, potassium feldspars. So that granite diorite probably is local. Could be the actual high long granite. And also, maybe comes from Norfolk and then we have some more graves over that way so anyway uh, a lot of the earlier graves are actually basalt and here we have another one from okay so I don't think this is a grave yet it's got the birth but it doesn't have the uh, passed away so this might be a family tomb uh, or might be just something that's reserved and that looks like diorite it's quite dark so not that much feldspars I don't see that much uh, uh, quartz in there okay so yeah, this one's made out of looks like siltstone Mudstone be a local type of rock. Uh, probably Silurian in age. And obviously the early ones uh, either have cement. So this looks like it has marble with our basalt. This one was from 1918. Seventy years. He had a long good life. And obviously a lot of the plants are actually cut down. See this one also doesn't have a death date, so I don't think those, I don't think this has been utilised yet. 74, 1944, 1936. So, this is where I leave the cemetery tour. And, we look at the actual rock again. So, this is granite, granodiorite, fairly weathered. Looks like equigranular uh, crystals. Ooh, that looks like feldspar. Looks like micas here. Uh, and a lot of quartz. Yeah, so if you don't have time to actually, I'll see. Here's an actual another, might be a grave site. Be a younger child, and here's one that's overgrown from 1977. Edward, so anyway, yeah. So, if you if you like geology but you just don't have time to go out and see formations. Uh, just go around your local neighbourhood and check out the actual rock that's actually around the place. So here we have uh, Edgar's Creek. And as you can see, this has been Line. So they we wouldn't actually do this these days. I don't know when this was uh, cemented, but obviously it looks horrible. Uh, 
It would be good if they could actually rip this up, just turn it into a natural water course again. But obviously this is designed to mitigate flooding. And obviously you've got discharges, so uh, the water table can be lowered from the side. And obviously people throw rubbish everywhere.